Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This video is this week's Aldi haul in addition to our meal plan. Stay tuned. So one of the reasons I went in was to check out the Easter stuff. And oh my gosh, when I got there, tons of cars were there. And when nine o'clock rolled around to open the store, all these women rushed the store. And when I went inside, where did they all go? The Easter stuff. The wreaths were gone within like maybe 20 minutes. It was a little bit crazy, but I was able to buy some of the candles. I think these are all the scents of the Easter candles. I could be wrong. Maybe there's more than four. So I will do a smell test of these and do a review. Click on the link below. Okay, let's get back to the haul. Kind of happy that the Never Any brand has bacon. You don't eat a ton of bacon in the house, but for holidays like Easter or Christmas, I like to have this on hand. A staple in our house is the Never Any chicken breast and the ham. This time I got Black Forest. And I bought these recently. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Originally, I, when I bought these before, I thought, oh, if I buy oatmeal cranberry, maybe we won't go through these cookies as much like chocolate chip or snickerdoodles but oh my gosh you guys these are so delicious and they're kind of chewy which i really like speaking of chewiness i also bought the everything bagels these are there all the time it's la oven fresh i like when stuff is really seedy and chewy i don't know why and also some cream cheese chive and onion to go with that some cage-free eggs for breakfast and lunch some spreadable butter with canola oil there's some white bread back there oh and don't mind the disaster that is happening in my house because our dishwasher exploded so we are replacing the floor I am going to finally, finally try again to make corned beef and cabbage. I have cabbage in the fridge waiting. I have not had success for some reason, but when I was reading online, I, I think the problem was that I'm just not cooking it long enough or low enough, something like that. So if you have tips on how to make a really good corned beef brisket or corned beef and cabbage, let me know. Also bought some chicken nuggets for the occasional lunch, some shredded cheddar. They have reduced fat, so I thought I'd give that a try. Queso fresco and Simply Nature ground beef to go with tacos, 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 tacos. For snacks, for my husband, he likes bars like this, so the chewy granola bars in the variety pack. And my daughter likes these, the mini naturally flavored cheese sandwich crackers. Hubby requested some cereal, so this is a staple in our house, the Vitality cereal with red berries, the Fit Active brand. Some mushrooms, some snap peas are under there, French green beans, bell peppers, kind of interesting that they have um, such cool looking bell peppers. And I have to say, you know, sometimes I buy sides of veggies not really knowing what's gonna happen, but you know, we just pair this along with a sandwich or, you know, just something fast. And it's a great way to still try to get your veggies in without worrying too much about the plan. One favorite snack of ours is cheese and grapes. Love it, it just goes so, so well. There's like a sweetness almost to the cheese with the savoriness and the sourness and tanginess of the grapes, I don't know. There's just something about it. Last time I had tried the mild Irish cheddar. Um, this one is the vintage, so I assume it's gonna have <clears throat> maybe a sharper taste, which we like. And my hubby's favorite, the chocolate chip muffins and blueberry muffins. I really wasn't planning on getting these, but at a dollar off, sure, we'll give those a try. Some Roma tomatoes. Those are my favorite tomatoes, the most useful for us, in my opinion. A couple of containers of strawberries. They had a big tubs of disinfectant wipes, so I thought we'd give these a try. These are lemon scented. And their toilet paper, I think, is looking a little better. I had tried their toilet paper years back and it was just like ghost thin. 
So I'm hoping because this is ultra premium that it's better. I had heard that there's a new brand um, that's like Pazia or something, I don't know, but that it's supposed to be better and I only saw the toilet, um, and I only saw the paper towels of that brand and it wasn't select a size. So, so I just thought I'd check it out to see if it's changed at all. Some bananas, yay! Some white vinegar for cleaning, some almond milk. One of my favorite things is the artisan lettuce. A couple of cucumbers, love pairing those with Marzetti Ranch. Green onions, I'll put this on top of the French onion soup and omelets and tacos, all sorts of good stuff. And in the corned beef and cabbage, I'll put the red potatoes. Have some broccoli. This is really good. They have two flavors, I believe, of the specially selected ice cream. I was not really a fan of the vanilla. I found it to kind of be lacking in flavor a bit. Um, I know it's vanilla, but you know, I think that the Kroger um, private selection vanilla is a lot better. But the chocolate, yum, yum, yummy. And that is my favorite. Thought I would give these a try. This is from the home aisle. Easy home, 10 pack, no stretch hangers. Kind of going for a theme in my closet where I'm taking all the hangers I've gotten from stores that are black and you know, removing the size tag or whatever so that they all look uniform. And I think this will go really well with those. It'll kind of blend in. Reamer Bistro French Onion Soup. They also had a broccoli and cheddar soup. These I'm hoping to be good dupes for Arizona tea. This is an unsweet tea and a sweet tea. I have been eyeing this product for a little while now. This is the Summit Sparkling Ginger Beer. Here is the receipt. This is probably one of the bigger hauls I've ever done just because we were about due for a bunch of stuff. And those candles were um, $3.99 each. And the corned beef was like 10 or $12, something like that. Meal plan for the week, corned beef and cabbage. Also, we'll be testing the French onion soup. We'll have some salad alongside that. Tacos with the queso fresco. And I'll be doing a pasta with creamy mushroom sauce, either a linguine or a spaghetti if I don't have linguine. I realize these are only four meals, but this corned beef and cabbage is definitely gonna last two nights, and this pasta likely will also. So that is it. Let me know what goodies you have found at Aldi lately. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.